And this is constraint subsequent sum. So we are given the uh, in the ray norms and into the k. So basically, you want to return the maximum sum. And then this is a constraint. So uh, you are given a k, right? So uh, this is a little bit tricky because what I understand is what well, you can skip the value, uh, skip only one value because when k equal, k equal to two, right? So this is i equal to one. So i equal to one. This is i equal to three. So 3 minus 1, which is 2. So 3 minus 1 less than equal to 2, which is satisfied, right? So you can only skip one value. So when I, when, when k equal to 1, you can skip nothing. So you want to find out the maximum value in the numbs array, so which is negative 1 in this case. And uh, let's just start coding. And uh, before coding, I need to uh, give like a brief summary. I mean algorithm. So you are given a sum sum array, right? Maximum sum array. So you need to store the current local sum array. So I have a sum array in that uh sum sum array array, sum array integer array, and then I need to have a date queue. So date queue is what uh, stored in the value, um, basically stored in the index value, because I'm pushing the index into the date queue, right? And then I would just uh I would just keep polling first, polling first, polling first when it's out of bound, right? Out of bound, and I will poll last when uh when I when my current sum is greater than the last current sum. So current sum uh greater than the last current sum. So sum so last so something like this, right? And I would definitely explain uh, better if I if I have a code. So uh, uh, I need to uh, create a DQ integer DQ to the new redec, and then I need to have what uh, in some array new in numbs of length. I, uh, the length should be equal to the numbs array, right? And I have a result equal to. I'm going to temporarily store the uh, store my maximum, which is my result zero. It doesn't matter; it's negative or positive because uh, I will definitely keep updating. So I'm traversing the numbs array, and I'm going to just write down what I am going to do. So I'm going to assign my sum at i equal to numbs at i, first one, and I'm going to check. If that queue is not empty, I need to add a summit i equal to what? Uh, plus equal to the summit uh, that queue p first. So this is in in the bound, right? And then and then I'm uh, in this one. In this one, I'm going to say um, update my results, right? With my summit i, right? And this one is going to be what? Uh, I need to definitely check if the date queue is not empty. Uh, two condition. One condition is what? Uh, poll first when it's out of bound. The second condition is poll last when current sum is greater than the last, uh, I mean, the last one in the date queue, right? And then uh, I'm going to just what? I'm going to just keep pushing my index. If my current sum is greater than, greater than zero, I'm pushing push the value into the DQ. Right? Push last, something like this, right? Alright, so let's just start coding. So sum the i equal to num say i. And then I need to what? I need to update my Summit i if a date queue is not empty. Summit i plus equal to sum, sorry, uh, sum right, and then date queue dot p first. So the reason why you use pick first, this is because uh, if this is in the bound, right, and and then you want to always add the value. Um, I'll always add the current uh, greater value, right? And then I will just what result equal to math max result sum 
AI. So once I already update, right? I need to what? I need to know the current the, the current constraint. The current constraint is going to be changed because at least index. Uh, one second. At least index is in a bound, right? But once I update it, I'm I, I'm still at in I'm still at list index. But once I update my result, I need to know like I need to keep the space, keep the inbound constraint for the next index. So I need to pull when this is uh when this is met, right? But uh this is gonna be what j j is equal to my i, right? J is equal to my i. J is equal to my i. And then i is equal to my array uh deq pick first. So deq deq index. And also like um since this is net uh, less than equal, it's in a bound, right? But I'm helping my next index to keep keep that in the bound. So I need to say if if this is greater than equal to k, I need to pull. Alright, so uh, this is better than drawing on the paper. So uh, for every single uh, index, you need to traverse. So you you can you can use if uh, just in case, right? Take Q is not empty, and also the i minus take take Q the p uh p first, which is greater or equal than k. Then I need to say take Q the pull last. Ah, uh, sorry, pull 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 first. What I'm doing, so pull first. All right, so now I'm going to pull last when DQ is not empty, and also, so think about this: current sum, right? Current sum is greater greater than the value that I store in the DQ, which means I don't need it, right? If I have a negative value, right, negative ten, right? Uh, why do I need it to keep calculating my current sum? So. I can skip right so if I can skip if I can skip I would definitely skip right here right the if statement and also and also the current I mean the current sum uh, the sum is less than right so if the current sum so sum sum at i if this is greater than the sum at uh, that q peak plus I'm going to sum at uh, sorry sorry uh, take you the polas, and every single index I need to just see if my sum is greater than zero. I need to what uh, add into you offers offer last AI right. Then I will return the result. So this is a little bit. Really, I mean, this is really hard for sure. I'm gonna check if I have error or not. I don't. And submit. All right. So let's briefly talk about the time and space. And I'm going to debug later. So this is uh, this is space. So this is all, all of them. All of them. So the worst case, all of them. The time. This is all of them. And uh, nothing. This is nothing. This is nothing. Nothing. So the time and space are the same. So let's just debug. So I'm going to just pause right here. Pause. Pause right here. Here. Right. Something like this. And this is every single time you have it, right? So, uh, so right, debug, debug, and let me get rid of the space. Oh, I can't. All right. So, uh, give me one second. I need to delete the space. And debug. Alright, so this is a numps array, right? And then k equal to 2, and then initially the sum is actually 0, 0, 0, and then result is what? Uh, to my what? To my first value. And then going down, so I initialize my sum, and then that queue is still empty, so I skip, and I update my result, still 10, right? And then uh, the that queue, uh, the that queue is still empty. I'm not worry about this, and then sum at i. So I already assign the sum, so it's greater than zero. So I push into the deq, 
right? This is index zero. So now I'm at index one increment, right? So keep go keep going. So I already assigned to two, which is value two, and the deck queue is not empty. And then I need to just add it to twelve, right? And then update my result. And uh, so if this is not empty, and check if this is in a bound or not, which is in a bound. And this is what polling loss if my current sum. We, I mean, just checking this to value. So this is not going to enter. Oh, wait, this is going to be entered, right? Yes, because 12 is greater than, uh, 12 is greater than 10, sorry. So basically, like, once you compare, right, and then you will just add the index into the uh, deck here because this is going to be the maximum uh, value f so far. So, come in. Just a little bit lagging, doesn't matter. All right, so now I got negative 10, negative 10. So, a uh, negative 10 will plus the 12, which is going to be 2. So, I'm going to check it's in the bound or not. Okay, still in the bound, and then uh, the current sum is square, then no, definitely not. Right? Then uh, I'm going to add it. Because, the, so the reason why you just keep adding this is because you are in a bound, right? And also the sum is actually greater than uh, zero. So in this one, you definitely pull, right? So I'm going to just assign five, uh, five, right? Yes. And then five plus 12, right? And then keep going. So I'm going to check it's in the bound or not. So definitely not, right? So I need to uh, pull the first one out. So uh, this is like helping the next index to uh, to update your current sum. Basically, this is my logic. So you pull the last, I mean pull the first, sorry, what I'm saying. And then you, you check, uh, is the current sum is greater than the last index, uh, last index current sum, you pull the last. And then keep going. Then you sum the i greater than zero for sure, and then Keep going, keep going. This is definitely adding, which is positive. Right? So you update the maximum. Now you need to check for the what? Check for the index, which is good. And then since this is what? Valid, and then you just keep going. Now you add in the index, and then you'll break out the while loop. So this is pretty much it, right? And so uh, I definitely not explain pretty well for sure because I don't know how to how to say it. But once you finish the debug mode, and then you will definitely know it. All right, time to say goodbye. Bye.